Hey guys, this is audio from the Shure SM58, and what I wanted to do was to do another comparison with the Shure SM57, uh, because one of the questions that I wanted to know is, does the Shure SM58, when you remove the windscreen, how close does it sound to the Shure SM57? All right, so here's the Shure SM57 microphone, check testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. And one of the reasons I wanted to ask this is that, now, theoretically, it doesn't really matter, technically, because it's kind of like, why would it really, in terms of practicality, all it really would prove, if it if they were the same, then you would just you would just go for the SM57. And actually, in many cases, I feel like that might be just fine. Except the SM57 is pretty terrible with plosives, so sometimes maybe you might want that windscreen. But then again, you might just be better off using a windscreen on it. So back on the SM58 microphone check testing one two three, dude. Okay, so I can at least say on the offset, it's very very fucking clear that they sound nothing alike. At least when the windscreen is on, it sounds woofier muddier, less pleasant. Uh, it sounds like the SM58. And this is the sort of sound I generally personally don't like, but it is what it is. Some people really love the SM58. Uh, back on the SM57, for me, I actually really like the sound of the SM57 much more. More high end, more detail. It just seems more balanced, more versatile, less woofy. You know what I mean? But does that change when you remove the windscreen off? So let's go and do that. So this is the Shure SM57. F, sorry, the Shure SM58 microphone check testing one two three testing one two three. This is without it on, right? This is how it sounds. And this is the Shure SM57 microphone check testing one two three. Hello, hello, testing one two three. This is with it on. I mean, this is just the SM57. And this is the SM58 um, when it basically is uh, with no windscreen. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to read a quick passage here. And the video will, will repeat will repeat twice, and you can then hear for yourself the differences between the two. All right, ready? One, two, three. The small pup not a hole in the sock. The fish twisted and turns on the bent hook. Pardon the plosives. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. The swan dive was far short of perfect. All right, the video will repeat. Hopefully that answers your question. All right, ready? One, two, three. The small pup not a hole in the sock. The fish twisted and turns on the bent hook. Pardon the plosives. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. The swan dive was far short of perfect. All right, the video will repeat. Hopefully that answers your question on how close they sound. Uh, all right, you guys have a great day. Okay, bye.